Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hiya Mathematics and today we have a really interesting challenge 2 to the x plus x equal to 11. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is a very easy challenge, I can easily solve this challenge by inspection, but here is the main question, what about a solution? How can you solve this challenge? Of course you can easily find this route by inspection, but what about a solution? So in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can you solve this correctly and step by step. So first of all let's bring this x from our left side to right side. So let's do this right now. So first of all we bring in this x from left side to right side. So as a result we have 2 to the power x equal to 11 minus x. Okay, this is our first step. What are you going to do next? Let's divide both sides by this 2 to the power x. But first of all, let's change position. Okay, it changed nothing for us, but in the future it will be like more understandable for you. We change position this one 11 minus x on the left side and on the right side we have 2 to the power x. Okay, it changed nothing. Right now, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x, okay? So we divide in both sides by 2 to the power x. When we divide both sides by 2 to the power x, we, mm, we write it in our denominator. So we have 11 minus x on the left side. We divide all of the thing by 2 to the power x. And we divide this 2 to the power x, divide by 2 to the power x. Okay, really great. And right now, uh, as you can see right here, we have 1, so we can easily cancel this 2 to the power x, but we can also bring this 2 to the power x from our denominator to numerator. You need to know a really great property, for example, if we have 1 to the power a, this is equal to a to the power not 1, but minus 1. When we bring this a from our denominator to our numerator, we need to write minus 1 right here, okay? And right now, let's bring this 2 to the power x from our denominator to our numerator. What we will have as a result? We will have 11 minus x inside parentheses, yeah, and times 2 to the power minus x, okay, really great. And equal to, we have right here 1, as I told before, we cancel everything, so right here we have 1. Okay, what we could do next? Right now we need to multiply both sides by 2 to the power 11. Don't ask me why, in, a, in one minute you will understand why I do this. We are multiplying both sides by 2 to the power 11. So let's do this, we are multiplying both sides by 2 to the power 11. When we multiply both sides by 2 to the power 11, we will have as a result 11 minus x times 2 to the power 11, let's write this 2 to the power 11 right here, and times we still have 2 to the power minus x, 2 to the power minus x. And on the right side we have 1 times 2 to the power 11, okay? We just multiply both sides by this 2 to the power 11. It change nothing because we multiply both sides by this 2 to the power 11. Right now we need to know a really great property. If we have the same base but different powers and of course we have multiplication, we can easily add our powers. We have 2 and 2, so as a result we can add 11 as minus x. As a result we have 2 to the power 11 minus x, okay? So we have 11 minus x right here and times... 2 to the power 11 minus x, okay? 2 to the power 11 minus x equal to 2 to the power 11, okay? So we just add our, our powers. We can also write it inside parentheses, it change nothing, okay? And what are we going to do next? We need to know a little bit about Lambert W function, because I hope you see right here that it, this is a great case to apply this Lambert W function. It's not a final expression that we really need, but we are close to create the Lambert W function right here. But first of all, maybe someone don't understand about Lambert W function. For example, if you have expression like a times e to the power a, if we apply this Lambert W function right here on the, on the left side, as a result we have a. And a is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter, constant, variable, doesn't matter what do we have right here, we have our a on the right side. And obviously we can easily write our example, for example from here we are considering Lambert W function of uh, like uh, 2 times e to the power 2. As a result this is equal to equal to 2, okay, according to this property. Right now let's try to create something like that in this expression. So, as you can see right here, we need to have like the same expression a and a and we need to have e. In our case we don't have e, but with one really interesting substitution we can change this 2 by e to the power natural log 2, okay? e to the power nature log 2 equal to 2. So right now let's apply this substitution, so instead of 2 we're gonna plug in this, e to the power, e to the power nature log 2. So let's do this right now. Okay, so what do we have right here? We have 11 minus x times, instead of 2 we write this e to the power natural log 2, e to the power natural log 2, but we need to raise all of the thing by this power 11 minus x. Okay, so 11 minus x right here, yeah, and equal to 2 to the power 11. Really great. 
What are we going to do next? Right now, let's look closely what we have right here. We raise e to the power nature log 2 and we raise all of the thing by this power. As a result, we have looks like a to the power x to the power y. As a result, this is equal to a product a to the power x times y. So we need to multiply this nature log 2 by this power. As a result, 11 minus x, our parentheses, times e to the power nature log 2 times 11 minus x. Well, let's write it in another order. 11 minus x, 11 minus x times natural log, natural log 2, and equal to 2 to the power 11. Really great. And right now, if we look closely, what do we have right here? We have e, and we have e right here in a general case. We have 11 minus x, we have 11 minus x right here, but it's not the same expression right here and right here, because we have natural log 2. We have 11 minus x, 11 minus x, but, in, but we multiplied this 11 minus x by 2, by natural log 2. And right now, really interesting trick, when we multiplied both sides by this natural log 2, we will have the same expression, so just look at it. So right here, we have 11 minus x times nature log 2 times e to the power 11 minus x times nature log 2 equal to 2 to the power 11 times nature log nature log 2. Okay, so I just multiplied both sides by this constant. It changed nothing, but right now if you look closely, 11 minus x times nature log 2 right here, for example, this is our a, let's call this as a, and we have the same, 11 minus x times nature log 2, this is absolutely the same expression. So we have our case, a times e, a times e to the power a, and when we apply lambert w function, so let's do this right now. Let's apply lambert w function from here. What do we have right here? We apply lambert w function from this expression on the left side. We have 11 minus x times natural log 2 times e to the power 11 minus x times natural log 2, yeah? And of course, equal to lambert w function of this expression on the right side. So 2 to the power 11 times natural log, natural log 2. Really great. And right now, we can easily apply this function right here. We have the same expression right here and the same expression right here. So as a result, we will cancel everything. We have only this expression, 11 minus x. So right here we have 11 minus x times nature log 2 equal to Lambert W function of this expression, 2 to the power 11 times nature log nature log 2. Okay, really great. So this is our first step. We apply Lambert W function. Right now we need to find our x. So how can I do this? First of all, let's look on the right side right here. Let's write this, uh, instead of this 2 to the 11, let's split it as 2 to the power 3 and times 2 to the power 8. Okay, so we have 11 minus x times nature log 2 equal to Lambert W function of 2 to the power 3 right here times nature log 2 and times to the power 8 okay so when we when we multiply the thing we will have absolutely the same 2 to the power 11 so 2 to the power 3 plus 8 equal to 11 but it helps us a lot because right now 2 to the power uh, 3 equal to 8 and instead of this 2 to the power 8 i want to write another expression so instead of this 2 to the power 8 i want to write this expression i want to write e to the power natural log 2 and to the power we raise all of the thing by to the 8th power. So instead of these 2 to the 8th, I want to write this expression. So let's do this right now. So we have on the left side, we have 11 minus x times natural log 2 equal to Lambert W function of 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 times natural log 2. Let's leave it like that, natural log 2. And times, instead of 2 to the 8, I want to write this expression e to the power natural log 2 and raise to the power 8. Okay, really great. Right now, we need to multiply this natural log 2 by 8 because this is our power rule right here. This is, looks like a to the power x raised to the power y. We will have like a to the power x times y. Okay, we need to multiply our powers and let's do the thing right here. So as a result, we have 11 minus x times natural log 2 equal to Lambert W function of 8 times natural log 2 times e to the power 8 times natural log 2, e to the power 8 times natural log 2. Really great. And right now, let's look closely what do we have right here on the right side. 8 times natural log 2, for example, this is our a, we have e, and we have e to the power 8 times natural log 2, which is absolutely the same a as right here. So as a result, this is our classic case according to Lambert W function. These are a classic case. As a result, we can easily write that this is equal to a, but in our case, a equal to 8 times natural log 2. So on the left side, 11 minus x times natural log 2 
equal to lambda double function of this uh, thing equal to eight plus eight times natural log two eight times natural log natural log two really great right now natural log two we can cancel from here from here and as a result we will have really interesting expression very easy expression very easy equation so 11 minus x equal to 8 and from here our x equal to equal to 3. I know that a lot of students can solve this challenge by inspection but what about solution as you can see this solution is not about inspection method this solution is about lambda w function and about really interesting tricks so i hope you understand this explanation we can easily check our check our answer right here in the beginning we had 2 to the power x plus x equal to 11. from here we have what we have 2 to the power 3 plus 3 equal to we have 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 8 plus 3 equal to 11. Yeah, this is a correct root, but we, as you can see right here, we solved this challenge completely. So I hope you understand. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you understand these steps right here. We applied lambda w function two times in this case right here and in this case. Okay, so I hope you understand this explanation. This is a very great challenge for everyone to practice your lambda w function, to practice your school knowledge, to practice your to prepare for exam right here this is very this is not easy challenge okay obviously this is not easy challenge on the first side it looks like very easy challenge 2 to the power x yeah exponential function x and 11 this is not like a huge numbers huge values and on the first side this is very like hard challenge but on this on the second side it looks like that yeah this is a hard challenge it's not like the easy challenge so i hope you understand this explanation maybe you have your question you can also write your question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it you can also ask everything anything you want right here we'll we'll help you in every every time and everything yeah so i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel a lot of questions so i hope you will enjoy it and i hope you learned something new this is my main goal to make you love this math thing right here, math trick. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.